Good morning. I'm not really ready to video, but I wanted to give you guys an update on the duck, and this is when I do the duck. So we got a little bit of a mess going on here because moving stuff out of Greg's room and moving stuff out of the living room. Let's see. I might need to turn a light on. Moving stuff out of the living room and Greg's room to get ready for um, flooring. So I haven't shown you the duck. He or she is still alive. I'm thinking it's a she though, but still alive. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, and give it um, some food and water, clean out its little brooder and show you how big it's getting. Getting big, aren't you? She's very, he, she is very skittish. <clears throat> Even though I'm in here every day. I, uh, when she first got sick or he first got sick, when they were, you know, right after they hatched, I did not hold the bird much because I kept thinking every time I'd come in, it would be dead. <clears throat> and so I did not want to, I was setting myself up for death, right? Like I didn't want it, uh, preparing myself for the duck's death. So I didn't want to keep holding it. And even though I come in and I do things like take the, see, see. Sometimes it'll eat out of my hands, but anyway, I come in and try to take the food because it gets all nasty, wet. Why do you get it wet? I don't know, but I go to take it out and those will fit. Yes, we've got the duck inside. It is February. It doesn't have its feathers. It's starting to get some feathers, but it doesn't have its feathers and it's the only duck. It can't, it can't, uh, it can't stay warm with other ducks. It's the only one that made it when I hatched the eggs. Well, it was the only one that hatched. There was no other eggs that hatched. Out of, a, I think, 11. I'm not sure. So, she's still inside, or he, until I know that it's warm enough outside for a duck to be by itself. And so I'm going to get all these shavings up, put a new one in, get this out. This is the water that we have set up for the duck. And I wanted to point this out. Um, the water's here, or supposed to be, it's empty, but I'll fill it back up, clean it out and fill it up. But I wanted to point out that it is on a paint tray, a plastic one with, I don't know what this is called, with this on here. And I got this idea from Mike at Fowler Family Farm. I don't know where he got it. I don't know if he saw it on another YouTube channel or what, but it is genius. Um, before getting this, I had this sitting on like a paint lid or something, not a paint lid, a five gallon bucket lid. As the duck, it worked in the beginning, but as the duck got older and plays in the water more, it was a mess. Every morning, every morning I was cleaning all of this out and every afternoon when I got home. But this, this is a game changer. Cause I'll just take this out. And here is all the water, nasty water that the duck, I don't know, plays in. Makes a mess. But see, all this is trapped in here rather than being in the shavings. Okay, got her all cleaned up back in here. If you're wondering where she went. While we were cleaning, she went in the bathtub and she liked it. And I think it's a sheet. I've been calling her she ever since we came back, so I'm pretty convinced. Truth is, I won't know until um, she gets old enough um, breeding age, but I'm pretty sure it's a she, just by the way she, just by the noises that she makes. So when we put her in the bathtub, she was in there playing and squawking and making all this noise, and, and it sounded like a female. That being said, she needs a name, and... Uh, you know, this, this water idea came from, from Mike at Fowler Family Farm. It is probably a female, which makes it even better. So I think her name, no, I'm sure of it. Her name is Mike. Whether it's a she or he, this duck's name is Mike, M-Y-K-E, um, because of Mike off of Fowler Family Farm. And um, just to be completely honest, transparent there, Mike has threatened to name one of his ugly ducks Lori. So... I'm gonna beat him to it, I think.
All right, um, this is clearly, this is not the same day. This is, um, this is the next day. I did want to show you that I finished um, doing the cut-in on the walls and down into the hallway. Again, not gonna show you the kitchen because it is not done yet, but I've got my stove and um, dishwasher and microwave. It's ready to go in. They're supposed to do the kitchen this week. Um, they're supposed to be Monday or Tuesday. Today's Monday, it didn't happen today, so I don't know. But when it happens, I'll show it to you. But let's go look at what took place last night. Yeah, I think this is where he came in right here. Well, don't wanna keep him from getting in that, do we? This is the bait that we're gonna use. And we're gonna put one over there and one over here. We found out that both possums and raccoons love Vienna sausages, especially raccoons. How do you know? We had, we, video, we caught them numerous times at the old property. And we actually have a short of one actually eating Vienna sausages. Let's pick that up. So we're gonna we're gonna wait till it's dark and catch them. There's that half of that one or part of that one. It's not even half. Um, hang on. Uh, get that cage over here. So that cage. This is what we're gonna put them in, and we're gonna put them in the big chicken run. But we're waiting for for it to get dark. But first. We're gonna go ahead and set these traps because we don't know when the coon is gonna come. I am so tired. I didn't get enough sleep last night. We had a storm and this raccoon come out and the dogs were throwing a fit. And I looked out the back door and sh I had a flashlight and shone the flashlight this way and could see, see its eyes. So it's definitely a raccoon. <laughs> I bet they were nervous all day. That's half true. dead chicken. In, I mean, not half dead. Half a chicken in there. Actually, all that's in there is the wings. The rest of the body's gone. But it happened late at night. Storm was here. And uh, I had to get up this morning and go to work. That went all the way through. The holes are definitely bigger on this one. Are they? No? How'd that go through? I don't know, but we need to surround it. Bottom is bigger. Yeah, we need to surround it so that they can't just reach through and get it. That would make me angry. He just reached through just like he did in the coop on that one uh, bantam. Oh, bantam? Yeah, the one at the hoop coop that he got the other day. Yeah, this is last night was not the first one. We had an attack the other night. So if you can see all those feathers... The other night we had an attack here. Um, hopefully Greg got rid of the body. Took the head right off of it. There was a barred rock hen and a rooster in here. And so we moved the rooster over here um, by himself. Well, his, his hen is dead. I can't put him in the other coop because he'll beat up on the other rooster. And the other rooster is really the one I want. <clears throat> Uh, fertilizing the eggs in case I want to hatch any. But so here's Tucker. Tucker's right here. So I don't think a raccoon will come this close to Tucker. Will they? Will they, buddy? You'll just hop over, won't you? You just step over, won't you? Yeah. Really don't need this rooster, but I don't need to let raccoon get him either. He's pretty. I just need one rooster. Actually, okay, I need one rooster in the big coop. I do still need my death layer rooster. But I'm going to keep them by themselves, keep them pure. That trash came from uh, where they're building mom and dad's house. 
from the high winds. One of these pieces was in the backyard. It was blown into the in the backyard. The winds. We didn't get any tornadoes. There was a tornado warning that went north of us, but uh, we really did have some high winds, and there's a lot of trash everywhere. Well, I come out and you put your hands in your pocket, like you're up to something. It's probably no good. Nope. Just watering the cow. So um, Greg has already fed everybody. He's just watering now, and I'm going to go look for the cows because they're usually up here. Because now is the time we feed. We don't have anything to feed them tonight um, because I forgot to get some feed today. <clears throat> so, but I want to see, I mean, I we saw our he heifer out here. Uh, oh, here they are. We saw our heifer, but we didn't see everybody else. So I was going to go look for them, but they're all here. Yeah, there's the bull and cow and heifer, and then that one, that one's ours. So they're all here, they're all good. So yeah, we were just waiting for it to get dark so that um, we can get those birds out, the bantams, out of that little tractor and put them, we're going to put them in a cage and then put them in the big chicken run for tonight because it is, um, if a raccoon wanted in that, it would get in it, but we haven't had that problem yet. So we're gonna put them in there and set these two traps, which we already did, so you saw that. And hope to catch at least one. Here's another feather. That's from the female duck the other day. Remember on the last video, I told you that something came in and got the ducks and it left me with one, one duck. One, the duckling that I have inside that I showed you earlier. That's the only duck we have left. <clears throat> and so now I gotta get some more, uh, you know, one or two at least. So that that one will have one to be with. And I'm really wanting the Cayuga ducks. But either I'm not finding them or they are ridiculously, ridiculously expensive right now. So just a uh, waiting game. Sun setting now. Greg's done watering, so I think we're going to try to get these birds. There's only three of them. I think we're going to try to get them in the cage and take them to the coop, hopefully. Okay, so I think we're going to set this up. When we get that over there, take the bottom out. Because wait until we get it over there because they'll fall through. But right. when we get it over there, go ahead and take that out. so that. Because um, I think I'm going to leave them in the cage tomorrow until we get home. Like, I don't want them pooping all over it and sitting in their poop so go for one at a time and uh is this gonna work get that get that so I think I shut it. there you go let me go chase it back okay Ugh, that's yuck i see a foot you see it yeah yeah see it um you might have to shut it so that i can run them back come on Go on in there. Really? We might have to wait on these. On these two. They're smart. She's pretty. Yeah, if we just stay down at this end, they'll go back over there. But let's let them rest. I mean, you know, get settled. And then... He's upset. The eye came open. Did it? So he can, it he can use it? Yes. That's good. I was wondering if it was like gone. Yeah, he was laying down. Huh? Okay. I'm going to see if I can... See what goes on. Ah, here she comes. Dang, she's smart. Or scared. Probably scared. Probably. Doesn't know what's trying to get her. It's dark. Go to sleep. She went back in there when you came back. Here she comes.
she's coming back. I know. <laughs> she's off. Nope. She gone. Not today, Jack. See if maybe if I get closer, she'll be. What? She almost escaped. <laughs> Quick lady. I'm gonna have to put the camera down just to help catch her. I'm gonna put the camera down right here. Like yeah, but. Then they'll see our fails, every one of them. Oh, you don't care? No. Wait, what, what's the plan? You're just, you're just... Okay, you gotta, here she comes, so. Here, she's already out. Let me go down there. You run her back, okay? Because you might be able to reach in and grab her. Tell me where she is. My side? Did I open it and get her, you think? Yeah. She's in that corner. She's laying down. Oh, she's laying down. You come get her. You'll have a better chance. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kitty, she might have a hurt foot. Slow her down. No, hey. Okay, give her a second because it is getting dark and I'm ready for bed. Is she laying down? I can't see. Let me try it. Yeah, she's not laying down though, but she's uh, this side. This side. Come here, little girl. Huh? Come here. Is she coming? I almost have her. Oh, so mm, Make more noise. Well, if she come back this way, I might be grab her. Make more noise. Oh no, you go back that way. She go back all the way. I don't know if you guys can see, but we did get her. Oh, you get a light. Okay, we got two, two barred rock and a rooster. Let's put this back on here so that make it a little bit more difficult for the raccoon. We're gonna go take her and put her, or put them in the big coop. And that's all for tonight. And we will show you if we get anything in the morning. Did not get anything. Um, actually, this is the second day since we got the birds out of here. Last night, well, nothing happened last night, but the first night, something got in and got the bait and got out. And I think that it came around this way and kind of reached through the cage and got it. Now we've got a brick there, block, whatever. Nothing's happened over here. Well, I said that. No, that's still there. Yeah, they've done something. We need to reset that. Yeah, we've got to fix this. The door's up, but the plate is smashed down. So, uh, something something went wrong there. Um, but, the nasty Vienna sausages are still in there. So, I don't know. They are moved around, but we got to fix that. Put new bait in there and try again. It is supposed to rain and storm for the next two days, which is a problem because we still have these bantams in that little cage. Weirdo. I think, I think she wants you. I mean, she laid down in front of me, but I'm pretty sure she wants you. 
I've been wondering right there if this one right here is a Tom. Watch. So Greg thinks this this gray slate right here might be a tom. Although this is the obvious tom. And she's waiting to be mated. That's so weird. Anyway. So here's where we have the little ones. I let them out yesterday when we came home. And first the rooster, that rooster right there, attacked this rooster and I got him away from him. Sent him, sent him to his bedroom and let them run around for a little while. I, I, let, I let them run around for a little while and then two different hens attacked this rooster. And so I can't let them with any of them. So I just let them um, run around for a little bit and then put them back up. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to do right now. So I wonder if that's the same hen that, that he keeps breeding with or if it's a different one. There's three blue slates, one of which Greg's thinking is a tom. Cows are coming. But so it gets really muddy here. Uh, it gets really muddy. And uh, we're about to get two more days of rain. I'm very concerned about how that's going to turn out. Yeah, it's kind of dry in here right now. At least they have perches. I came in and she just laid down right in front of me. Guys, let's go to bed so we can let the band out. Come on. Bedtime. Good grief. How many is in there? Eight. Eight nasty eggs. <laughs> Look, the bantams laid. The bantams oh, wow. laid one too. So that's nine. Too. Hmm. We're gonna let these run around now that we get the others put up, just for a little bit anyway. Gross. What is that? Flashlight. Flashlight. I right in the neck. Look at her. Is she gonna. Y'all want to come out? Yeah, look a look at the way this guy walks. Hold on, he's funny. He's also dirty. Look at that. That's funny. Go on. He got in the mud yesterday, and. We rinsed him off, but, um, like, he looks horrible. He got, you know, attacked, and then he got in the mud. He got his tail in kicked by two girls. And that's how he got in the mud, actually. They were whipping up on him. And I don't mean ganging up on him. It was one at a time, and they just pushed him around, knocked him in the mud, had him on his back. These guys have been through a lot. You're looking kind of rough there, buddy. But he don't know. Look at him strut. Oh, that's bright. It's a cat. It's a cat. Big old Tom. 
isn't it? Yeah. It's the tom that's been in the shop. Shit. Well, that's not what I wanted to catch. Huh? Yeesh. You don't see any raccoons around, do you? Huh. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it. What? 